It's really amazing to be here. Some of you probably wonder what happened to my hand. I arrived in Lisbon a few days before because I wanted to enjoy surfing. Unfortunately, I had an accident and I ended up in the hospital here. And when I was in the hospital, I started to talk with my doctor about Web Summit and our uh, product. And he said, you will change medicine. So today, I would like to talk with you how we at Nutrix will change medicine with biosensors. Starting with the high-tech nanosensor for the future of glucose monitoring. So, we have the nanosensor that we are placing on the tooth. It's like a sticker and we can monitor the glucose from the saliva. And then we are sending this information to the external app. This is just the first application for the sensor. We start with the glucose, but there is much more information that we can detect from the saliva. So it's very innovative. And we start with this because there is a huge number of diabetes patients. So we have 425 million people today with diabetes. It's 1 in 11. And this number, we grow to 625, mostly in developing markets. That's why we need more innovative solutions. We need the high-end technology, like biosensors, that are much cheaper to produce to give the solution to the patients. So, as you can see, we are non-invasive, patient-friendly, and invisible. We also monitor what the patient is eating, which provides the information for the artificial pancreas algorithms. We started as an MIT bootcamp together with Nithil, and our team comprised also of two nanotech sensors engineer, Petsoli and Yemish. And as I said, it's only the beginning. So we can monitor much more in the future and we can react quicker, quicker so we know what's going on in our body. And we prevent, not cure. Thank you. Fantastic. We have judges with three minutes for questions. Uh, first of all, amazing. I want one. I want to know what I'm eating. Uh, but the biggest question I have for you is, who is your buyer and how are you going to charge this? What's your revenue model? Are you selling this to doctors, patients? So basically today, uh, the sensors for the glucose monitoring are only, uh, uh, they, they, they are paid by the uh, insurance only for the type 1 diabetes patients. So the type 2 cannot really afford the systems that are at the market. So we are targeting both. We are targeting the insurance and we are also targeting the type 2 diabetes patients which are active and would like to know also well, how is their level of glucose so they can really monitor better also their habits. Uh, what's your like how much does it cost to make a sensor and how much do you charge? What's your margin? So today we are in the development phase, uh, but we can say that we are 50% uh, cheaper than the sensors that are today at the market. And generally speaking, like how close are you to like an accuracy to the existing solutions? Like how how effective are you at measuring glucose uh, with both false positives and false negatives? Like, what is the actual performance? Yes. Like? So there is a very strong correlation between the glucose in the blood and the glucose in the saliva. And in terms of our sensor, we have the uh, gold nanoparticles that are detecting the information uh, in a precise manner. Does your solution require FDA approval or? Yes, this is a class two medical device. 
Okay. And how long does that process take you to go through that? Like, where are you in kind of the trial? Yes. Yeah, so this is, um, as I presented, a very innovative new way of uh, treatment. So we really think about the change in the medicine. So it's not an immediate solution. I would say it will take three to five years to get the product to the market. And what's the biggest problem you think you still need to solve to get there? And what are you doing for that? Well, we came to Web Summit because uh, we need uh, the funding, the pre-seed funding, to really start uh, with the um, prototype. And this is what we wish to get. And uh, we really uh, have a, a big vision to go ahead with the sensor and there is everything available today. So we really have a, a great idea. We have great, great partners in Switzerland with the Innovation Technology Lab and also with the Children's Hospital Basel. So yeah, we, we really uh, wish <laughs> that uh, being here today at the main stage and also pitching to many potential patients um, will help us. Awesome. Thank you, Maria. Round of applause. Thank you so much. Great start.